Think of a material that can stretch, bounce, cushion, suffer incredible deformation, yet always return to form. From the design of the treads on your car tires to the seal inside your water-resistant phone, the elastic magic of rubber-like materials touches every corner of our lives because Mary Boyce gave engineers the power to simulate the stretchy stuff. I feel uh, my journey is really an American story, that my grandparents all came to the U.S. from Ireland with very little resources and no education. Hard work and persistence become sort of ingrained in your values and transmitted to generations going forward. By the 1980s, that determination would be put to the test. Boyce had grown up in New Jersey with a passion for math, becoming a young mechanical engineering researcher at MIT, just as computers began influencing industrial product design. With the right code and the push of a few buttons, engineers could simulate plastics, metals, and other rigid materials. In a rigid material, the molecules tend to remain static, resisting change until a mathematically predictable amount of force is applied. Non-rigid materials like rubber and elastic are a different story. As you stretch a piece of elastic, the molecules inside instantly begin to deform, changing moment to moment. The math important for simulations is impossible to gather from measurement alone. Boyce understood that simulating rubber, for instance, could only be possible by understanding what was going on inside the material when you stretched it. She and her team visualized chains of molecules, or polymers, unraveling when stretched. The model, developed and perfected over a decade, allowed engineers to simulate rubber-like materials with precision for the first time in history. There's a lot going on in there when you're trying to actually design a new product, a new function. You need to really understand how that microstructure underneath gives that mechanical behavior, that performance, those properties. Chances are the tires on your car and the soles of your sneakers were conceived within Boyce's simulations alongside countless consumer and industrial products worldwide. Today, Boyce envisions a future of designer polymers and elastics. We can design really sophisticated elastomeric materials in different types of geometries and put them together in different ways to create functions that we would not have thought of 20, 30 years ago. What Boyce calls soft robotic materials deform from one useful shape to another when force is applied. Imagine noise-limiting architecture, walls that change shape to dampen external noise when struck by sound waves, or a microfilter that closes to water but allows air to pass. Polymer chains that unravel or contract under force or current might be the foundation for artificial muscles. In the future, the material becomes the device. Form is function. And with each microscopic transformation engineered in Boyce's lab, comes the possibility for a widespread technological one. That's also part of being a scientist and an engineer, that you really keep your mind open, that you're open to different disciplines and how those can come together. So I think that molds together with being curious about the world and everything around you.